my name is Lindsay and I'm an undergraduate academic coach here at Study Lab. This video is going to talk to us a little bit about exam analysis. So how do we start reviewing our exams after we get them back from our professors? So you've taken your first or maybe your second big exam of the semester. Congratulations, you're finished. Take a deep breath. What do we do next? I think it's important to understand why it's necessary to review your exam. So a lot of courses build on the information that you learn throughout the semester. And so exams or content that showed up on this exam is probably going to show up on the next exam and it's almost definitely going to show up on the final. So it's important to make sure that you have that content mastered. Furthermore, that content may be important for future courses. So if you're in foundations of biology, the things that you learn in biology are important for genetics and courses that you're going to take further down the line. Even more so, the information is probably going to be really important for your career. On top of that, Going over your exam is a really good way to help you reflect on and develop your academic skills like studying and test taking strategies. Because the kind of mistakes that you make now are things that you might make later. And so fixing those mistakes and learning what kind of mistakes that you made this time is going to help you do better the next time around. And so how do we go about doing this? A lot of people don't really know where to start when they review their exams. We have some tools online. So this is the exam analysis tool and it can be found on Pitt Study Lab page under tools and resources. And you can use it as kind of a structured way to review your exam, which is really helpful. So what to do when you're going through your exam. I like to correct my exam using just an answer key. I don't reread the questions. I try not to look at the questions. I cover them up. I just look at what I selected. And if I got it wrong, if it doesn't match the answer key, I put a red slash through the number and I move on. I don't even write the correct answer down. Then once I've done that, I put the answer key away. I put my notes away and I go back through the test as if I were taking it again. And I look at all of those questions that I got wrong and I ask myself, can I answer this now? Do I understand what I did wrong? What was wrong with my thinking in the exam? And based on my thoughts during this process when I'm going through my exam, then I can start to break up my mistakes into three categories. And so the first category is careless mistakes. These are the easiest to identify. Typically, did you misread something? Did you think one word was another word? You know, you said, oh, I definitely know the definition of that vocab word, but you mixed up two vocab words. So careless mistakes are the easiest thing to fix, and you're typically going to fix those with test-taking strategies. The next category is content. So you didn't know things. You didn't know the information. Um, perhaps the information wasn't in your notes. You didn't write it down when the professor said it in class. Perhaps you didn't think it was important when you were going through your notes, so you didn't study it. Um, oftentimes, when you go through your exam, if it was a content mistake, you still won't be able to answer it because the content isn't in your brain, you didn't study it properly, it's not in your brain. So this is going to be issues with um, taking notes and things like that. And so lastly, and the most difficult category to kind of identify and fix are issues with study skills. So a lot of times this shows up as, oh, I didn't know how to apply my knowledge. So I understood the content. I understood the information. I could tell the information to you in person, but the way this question was asked, it asked it in a way that I didn't know how to think about it that way. Um, perhaps you misunderstood something. You thought you understood something really well, but there was a misconception in your understanding. Um, and so these three categories, I think, are a really great way to break up the questions you got wrong and to think, okay, was this a careless mistake? Was this a content mistake? Or was this a study skills mistake? And so once you've categorized all the questions that you got wrong, then you can start to build up those skills so that you don't make those again. And that's what the next video is going to talk about, exam analysis part two.